Hello everyone and welcome back to my another tutorial. In the previous tutorial we already covered how we can remove the background just like Zoom, Microsoft Team, uh, Google Meets or Skype. Also we learned how we can detect faces and make facial recognition on that faces. Then we continued with the pencil sketch effect with pure OpenCV implementation, but it wasn't perfect when we talked about the, an actual human pencil sketch. So I came to the point where we'll test the AnimaGen effect on our media to get a beautiful, beautifully animated pictures, videos, or real-time camera video stream if you have a GPU that could process it in real time. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to get the following results that is animated. Here's the husky picture that came from this another picture, original one. And you clearly might see the difference. And there is pu pure output of our Jan model that we'll implement. Or you want to try to different sketch effect, for example, maybe this to, to sketch the husky. You'll receive following results of it. As before, I'll create a separate object for this task. Uh, which I'll name animegen.py. As you can see, I already opened it. It will have the same structure as my other face detection, face identification, uh, background removal, or etc. objects. So you could use it with my engine object all at once. When we call our object, we'll give the frame that returns the processed frame. And here is the complete animagen object code that you can uh, go through to understand how it works. But quickly, we can walk through it together to get a little understanding what I do here. First, I need to open the source of this my animagen model that I downloaded. And here is the animagen official implementation and I I use the AnimeGen V2 version because for some reason the authors that doesn't allow us to publicly download V3 version of this AnimeGen, but it's already released. And as you can see, it has 4000 stars on GitHub. It's pretty much, so it's pretty popular. And well, I thought, well, why not? trying to choose it and use it. So for, for just play around with the pictures or with a stream, as I said. So here is pretty cool implementation. Of course, it's pretty old if you are interested to train it on your own GPU because it, it uses pretty old 1.15 TensorFlow, it's really old because right now everyone uses a second or torch. So it's up to you if you want to try, try it or not. So, but I, I simply downloaded the models and test this out. So basically, it's pretty hard to find the links where to download these models. So in my Git code implementation, you can find these four links. And these are simply to download these on an X models that someone uploaded somewhere here on on the cloud. I'm not sure how long they'll be downloadable there, but as long as they are, you can download them and use test, play around them and etc. So here is four models. Here is for version one and here's three different models for version two. So and in this tutorial, I'll use all of them to see what's the difference in the results while using these models. So here we can walk through this object. So first there is a model path and downsize ratio. Of course, downsize ratio is used when you have pretty huge image and it's for example 4k or 8k video uh, uh, image and it doesn't fit on your gpu so it should be resized to fit on ram when it you're trying to run the inference on it so then we use the rt session to load this on next model for us and there is a some kind of special pre-processing steps for this kind of all models all the preprocessing is the same, we need to resize it to divisible by 32. It's a either weight and height. And also we need to uh, divide it by 127.5 and minus 1. So this means that our uh, image is between minus 1 and 1 in this kind of style in this way and then we use some kind of post processing where we simply re resize the result back to original shape and 
the final step is the the call function so whenever we have initialized our object we simply feed the, our frames to this call object it will resize it change the shape how it needs to be done then we'll get the results and at last step it will post process it back to the original shape with an hit and return us this kind of results of our animator implementation. In this tutorial, I'm not going into the technique, how it was made, how to train the model and etc. You can Google it or go deeper inside by yourself. It's not the goal of this tutorial. My focus is to show you how simple it is to use it on your own purpose. I already converted models from TensorFlow to ONNX. So if you open this models, you can see that I have here Animagen V3 portrait sketch and Shinkai 53. And of course, I don't know, it, they are not too hard, large. I'll upload them in my GitHub repository. But if they are too, too large, I'll add the text version tutorial how you can create these or at least I'll give a link where you can download them. For, for yourself, of course. And we'll see what we can do to that. But most of these models and the weights can be downloaded for original GitHub implementation that I showed already for you. And this object will officially handle all the post and pre-processing stuff for all of these models because that's what is great about that, that they use all the same technique for post-processing. Okay, but you may ask, Great, you give us this object, you give us this model, something etc. But how to use it? Well, that's that's what I'll show you right now. I already implemented this implementation. As, as you already saw, there is a husky image, and then I'll run the inference on this kind of beautiful dog image. And I chose this because it has pretty a lot a lot of details, a lot of beautiful colors, and etc. So it will be pretty nice to see the results in animated image of this kind of pretty dog. So here is the main.py script that I created simply for playing around. And as you can see, there's already these are uh, there, all these images are there, but I'll run this for you. And this is only, uh, as you can see, only four lines of codes to test this out with different image different models. I, uh, I initialize the animagen object with each of these models on each iteration. And I run, I initialize the engine object with the same uh, kind of picture and each of these animagen objects. And then simply I press, I call the run to, to run this. And okay, I, I think what we can do with simply Python main.py, let's run it and we'll see. it. It should regenerate all these Husky images for us and we can choose what we liked most. So for me, I already have this GPU 1080 Ti. It's pretty old, but it's it has pretty a lot of RAM so it can fit a lot of stuff inside. So it doesn't throw me an error that it's out of memory or something like that. But if you see something like that, you should set this resize, resize, downsize ratio as I told you to some kind of 0.5 or, or something similar. You, you just need to test this out what works for you best. Of course you can upsize it but I don't know if, you, if it's necessary. So that's it and let's see what results we receive. So first let's and let's look at this portrait sketch. It's pretty nice, it's pretty detailed. Well, I don't know where you, if you would like to use it anywhere, but it's up to you. You can try it out and use it wherever you want. But well, it's, as I said, it's not that detailed as I would like it to be. Then let's go to another Heyo. And let's look at original first. You can see the clear difference between them. And there is a kind of, a uh, few colors and it's pretty blurry and we can't see that much detail but as, as already you can see that it's pretty simple to these uh, animations that we were watching on our TV when we were kids and that's pretty amazing that it's simply generated by by this neural network and let's open a, another one it's more more similar to original image but and now if we see this somewhere it's 
definitely sketch it, but it's pretty hard to say uh, that it's made with anim gen. And this one is for sure from old animations. It's you can see clear lines of animation how it was done before. It looks more angry and it has more contours around it. So this one it definitely looks like animation. I love it. And this one is pretty blurry. Uh, I don't know. It's it's one of the new models of Anime Gen V2, but uh, I, I wouldn't choose it. If you ask me which I like the most, it, it will be this one or the first one we looked. And it looks amazing compared to this husky. Okay, what we can, what I would like to try alive, uh, as I said, down is erasure. Yeah. Let's try to. Uh, increase it actually and if i go to here to my object if i go to downstairs ratio what i do is i multiply so let's look if i'll try to increase the size of my image it might take some time to generate but why not what's this i've never seen this before <laughs> nice anyway it's right now processing in a in a bag and let's wait, wait a few moments till it finishes. It might throw me an error or not. We'll see in a moment. And here, 64, it would be the first one created. This means it should be Husky, here, 64. And as you might see, it was upscaled to, to larger size and we clearly might see the difference that it's more detailed right now than it was before and it looks pretty amazing <laughs> honestly let's look at another one it's it's close to real image but let's less sharpness but it's definitely cool oh this one doesn't look so pretty yeah yeah but it was also upscaled that's nice and let's go back it's this one is also pretty nice. It was blurry at the first, but right now, let's look at this one. Ah, no, no, it's not that beautiful as I thought it will be. I thought there will be more details at the left and the right side where's the snow, but oh well, well, it's up to you. But this one looks pretty nice and pretty amazing in this one. Yeah, so it's up to you where you are interested to in trying this out. And me, okay. I thought I think you might want to see if it's possible to run this in real time, right? So let's make one. So from uh, selfie image segmentation, I'll import media pipe segmentation that I already have here. Okay, I don't need these anymore for now. I'll comment this, and there's a segmentation segmentation module i'll call it will be media pipe segmentation and it will be have a threshold of 0.3 the background image will be background images path will be nothing yeah will be nothing and the background blue ratio i don't i'm not interested in but yeah and background color also maybe yeah i don't need this background color so it will animate also the background okay next i need to initialize the engine so i grab this engine and here will be webcam id will be G zero show okay we'll show it animation and i need to initialize the animation right so animation will be downsize or issue. I don't need this. And I'll put extension. I don't need this out of extension actually. And animation model, what model to use? Uh, here 64, I said it's pretty nice. Copy release to path and replace it. Models here. Great, and now we have 
we have a show true and I hope it should work actually and last step is need to engine dot run to call this one and uh, yeah let's give it a go if everything will be fine it should run pretty nicely and we should see this OpenCV window to show it to display it so let's wait for it oh shit so as you can see it looks pretty amazing how everything what is the background of me look at it oh damn oh damn i couldn't imagine that i look so pretty amazing huh and it really looks like i was drawn here uh, i can move my arm let's see oh shit whoa my ring what ring it looks oh damn it huh <sighs> I'm, I'm really excited right now to see the results as you can see oh my goodness and the, my, well my bed is here I, I wouldn't like to show it for you right now but it looks so pretty amazing that I can't and damn that's pretty amazing how it looks like so as you can see you can play around with it and it's pretty fun and if you would like to test this around you can copy my code here maybe I'll add this kind of code here also so you could check this out how it works and play around with it so it's up to you but for now i think that's enough with this tutorial and it was really fun to write this pretty serious and right now uh, i'll finish this pretty kind of serious and i'll go right now to more serious stuff on my further tutorials as you might think so uh I really appreciate that you like my GitHub implementation of this series where I give you this a lot of solutions what you can do with face detection face recognition uh, background removal right now with this anime gen generator and etc there's a lot of things that I already made for you publicly you, you just go there grab these things uh, and just use it it's not really hard it's pretty easy how to do this and uh <laughs> i'm still loving this how this looks like and yeah yeah that's amazing and uh we'll see we'll see in the future within the next tutorials and in the near future i'm thinking about creating the tutorials with image segmentation and we'll see there what we can do about that Thank you again for watching and see you in the future. And if you don't hesitate, please share this video, so like it, drop a comment if you have any questions on etc. Share it with your friends. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.